we have this 3.5 liter twin turbocharged EcoBoost engine in this F-150 and we're gonna see how well it tows my 8,000 pound enclosed trailer with maximum wind resistance. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm very excited because, well, we are testing out the new enclosed trailer for the first time. And well, I brought with me this 3.5 liter EcoBoost. It was the benchmark engine in the 1500 segment with my flat deck trailer. And I suspect it'll also be the benchmark engine with this enclosed trailer. So I figured I'd bring the big guns out early set those benchmarks and uh, see where all those other engines kind of lie. As usual, we'll be towing our 200 kilometer towing loop. I have marked my water weights in here. Therefore, we're always gonna have the same load, same load location, obviously the same trailer, as well as the same tongue weight. So that should give us a really, really nice comparison between truck and engine when we're doing these towing tests. This 3.5 or EcoBoost engine is putting out an impressive 400 horsepower and 500 pound feet of torque. These puppies are made in Ohio and it seems like people either love them or hate them. Now, when it comes to towing, I love this engine. Um, the down low torque in this 3.5 liter EcoBoost is incredible. In fact, 90% uh, of that 500 horsepower, in fact, 90% of that 500 pound feet of torque is available only at 1700 RPM, which is very, very impressive out of a gasoline turbocharged engine. Speaking of which, our first test on the dock here is the off the line performance test, uh, zero to 50 kilometers an hour and we time it. I figured this is really good for highlighting that torque in this engine as well as other engines. I put the trucks in four wheel drive and I just floor it and we time it to 50 kilometers an hour to give you guys a really good impression on how these things get the weight behind them moving off the line. Three, two, one, to the floor. Bang. All right, take two, zero to 50. Three, two, one, to the floor. Bang. Well, she certainly felt quick. The second run did feel the fastest. And it'll be interesting when we get some big V8s on the channel who are known for that low end grunt, if they in fact are better off the line performers than this smaller displacement EcoBoost. So that should be fun. But before we hit the highway here, let's head back to the rear end and see how much this trailer squatted um, our rear axle. 30 and a quarter there. So she sank about two inches, which was actually the exact same amount of squat we had with my flat deck. Definitely very happy with that. Not bad at all. All right, so our maiden voyage with our new trailer. First up, as you guys probably know by now, is our second acceleration test, 60 kilometers an hour to 110, roughly 70 mile an hour. So we'll jump on the highway here and uh, give her a go. 60 to the floor. One ten, just like that. Well, the EcoBoost doing EcoBoost things. That thing felt pretty quick. Last time with our flat deck trailer, eight thousand pounds, um, we ran that acceleration test in eight seconds, which was the fastest fifteen hundred truck. And uh, I have no doubt this will be the quickest as well. So first things first, guys. I'm gonna have to apologize about the weather. Hopefully, it doesn't mess up the audio too much. We got a mix of snow and rain, perfect conditions for towing. As we always do, we are set at 110 kilometers an hour. We are in tow haul mode and we are gonna let the truck just do its thing. This thing is just having to pull so much harder and you can see with our fuel economy right away, 38.2 liters per 100 kilometers. That is probably around 40 to 50% more fuel than what we used on our last towing test. 2.5 liters per 100 kilometers. Hopefully the weather holds up and we don't run through a snowstorm, but uh, it's the real world and uh, these things happen. Last time I was towing 8,000 pounds with the flat deck, I legit almost kind of fell asleep on our run because 
The truck just performed so well and I was honestly worried that there just wasn't enough weight back there because this truck just didn't even budge. It just was so drama free. This truck is gonna have to work quite a bit harder to get that same, um, those same results. And I mean, it still is doing very well. Still in ninth gear, only at like 16, 1700 RPM on flat stretches. However, what we didn't see last time is these quote unquote higher revs for this EcoBoost. The highest rev we saw last time was 3000 RPM and uh, we're not even in the big hills yet. So uh, this should be interesting, I'm excited. Some of you guys may be asking, why is this V6 so good at towing? Well, it comes down to one thing, or in this engine, two things comes down to the turbos. This thing has a twin turbo setup. A turbo is highly advantageous for towing because when the engine demands more torque, more power to those wheels, the turbo can simply spool up and push more air into the engine. More air into the engine means what? More power, more torque to keep that load moving. And that's why turbos are so advantageous when towing. On a traditional V8 like maybe the five liter Coyote engine, when the truck is running up a hill and needs more torque to turn those wheels, the engine has to downshift. And there's nothing wrong with that. There is something to be said about a good, strong V8 in a truck. They work very well, they've worked very well for a long time. The advantage of having turbos is that the truck does not necessarily need to downshift. And when your engine needs to downshift, you're gonna have higher RPMs, which result in higher engine temperatures. The engine's gonna be working harder. The transmission is gonna have higher transmission temps. It's also gonna be working harder. And it just results in a less favorable towing experience. Whereas this engine with turbos does not necessarily need to downshift or downshift as much and it makes the towing experience so much more seamless and the engine does not necessarily have to work as hard. So here's a perfect example. This is just a small, tiny little hill. Normally the V8s have the downshift on this little bump here. And we are still in seventh gear, which is a one-to-one. -one, and the turbos are just feeding boost into the engine and it can stay at 2,400 RPM rather than downshifting to like 32, 33, 3,400 RPM and it just makes the towing experience much, much better. Now there certainly are downsides to having a twin turbo setup. These things are rather complex and when you start adding more mechanical complexity to an engine, usually on paper that leads to less reliability. And well, these 3.5 liter EcoBoost have been known for turbo failures. Now before everyone starts screaming at me, these engines have been around for over a decade and they have proven themselves to be a very reliable engine option. So just because there is potential of a turbo failure does not mean that these engines are not reliable. It's just another thing to consider when you are looking at either buying a traditional V8 or maybe going a more modern route with something like this EcoBoost. So this is a nice long hill, not too big of a grade, but it's a great test to see where these engines are at. We are at 3,100 RPM, which is actually pretty impressive. Um, for all this wind resistance. Again, last time with our flat deck, we were only at 2000 RPM. This engine was barely turning over to get up this hill. I know my own power wagon when I was towing this trailer to the shop, it was not happy towing this trailer at speeds. Any hill, it was downshifting like 4000 RPM and that's a big 6.4 Hemi, 410 gears in that thing. So every time I drive one of these EcoBoosts and tow with one, I just always get reminded how good these engines tow. Another thing we need to talk about is the fuel economy thus far. 38.3 liters per 100 kilometers is, well, pretty much atrocious. That is a really tough number to see there. Um, this thing is sucking back fuel. We've already gone through a quarter tank of, as good as the turbos are at feeding power into this engine, they are just as good burning fuel in this engine. Um, I've said it many times, gasoline engine needs a very specific fuel air mixture. If you're putting more air in the engine, which the turbos are right now, you need that much more fuel. And boy, oh boy, does this 3.5 liter EcoBoost just drink that fuel. Now quickly, I just wanna talk about driveline. This truck comes with a max towing capacity of 11,200 pounds. And yes, I know the EcoBoost is rated for 14,000 pounds of max towing, but that's a very specific configuration of truck. 
This truck comes with a crew cab and it's four wheel drive, as well as, and critically, 331 gears. That is the big factor. If you are looking to get more towing capacity, simply by upgrading to the 355 gear choice, you will get a max towing capacity out of this specific truck up to 13,900 pounds. So a very dramatic, big bump just with going up to 355s. If you want the big daddy topper, you can go up to the 373s, which will just give you the maximum performance when towing, as well as acceleration and all of those fun things. Oh boy, this EcoBoost, it just, it pulls so well. Uh, the fact that we're staying at only 3000 RPM is actually incredible. Like I said last time when I was towing with this engine, it just reminds me so much of a diesel engine. It's just drama free and it just packs such a good low end punch like those diesel engines do. All right, we made it to the wonderful Irving stop here. We are at 39.8 liters per 100 kilometers. Um, we almost burned like a half tank to get down here. 92 kilometers driven. I was thinking, I was like, do I need to fill up so I don't run out of fuel to get back to the shop? I've never driven a truck that drinks this much fuel before. Let me know if you guys, um, when you tow with your EcoBoost, if this is the experience you get. I mean, this trailer is very wide. It's eight feet wide. It's also extra tall, which is just going to crush fuel economy. But I mean, I wanted something that would mimic like a big travel trailer, which I think this thing does very well. So. I mean, I guess that's just the mileage you guys are getting when you're towing with these EcoBoost engines. Let me know if that's the case because, um, yeah, this just seems wickedly high. All right, I'm rehydrated. Let's get this thing back on the road, back to the shop. We got our biggest hill ahead of us and I'm really excited to see how this EcoBoost takes it. Just getting onto the highway here, like I didn't need to floor it. We are at like 3,500 RPM and we get up to 100 kilometers an hour. It's it just makes things very simple. And that's the best way I can describe towing with this engine is things are just simple and there's no worry, there's no drama. It just pulls the trailer and you move on with your life. Um, and that's, that's the ideal towing situation where you just don't have to worry. Anyways, enough compliments. I've, I've already given enough. You guys are th gonna think I'm a little fanboy here. Um, but uh, we're back to our cruising speed, 110 kilometers an hour. And uh, like I said, we got some big hills ahead and I'm excited to see what this engine does. So far as we climb these hills in the Appalachian mountain range, um, I've been happily surprised. This thing is staying around 3000 RPM at all times, um, which I think is just gonna be extremely impressive again when we get these um, big displacement V8s on this channel that need to downshift. This is the biggest hill on our course through the, uh, the snow there. You guys probably can't see it. Fantastic, here we go. Sixth gear, 107 kilometers an hour, 3,100 RPM. Are we gonna stay there or downshift again? Oh, she's just feeding her boost, 108 kilometers. Will it downshift again? I don't know. 109, oh, we're gaining speed. I think we'll be just fine at 3,100 or 3,100 RPM there, sorry. Still not at 110, there we go, 110. And uh, wow, I thought for sure we were gonna downshift once more into fifth gear, but the EcoBoost proves me wrong once again. Very impressive very very impressive so as we are nearing the end of our loop here we have a developing story i want to take a look at our fuel economy currently sitting at 40.1 liters per 100 kilometers um, that is egregiously bad i'm generally really curious now if this is just normal for you guys with ecoboost pulling big camper trailers if this is just what you guys have to accept because i i just yeah, you'd be pulling over every two and a half hours, two hours basically to fill up with fuel. We made her back. 
A little bit of snow up there, as you guys saw. Well, to conclude, there's three things I wanna talk about. Number one is just the power output out of this EcoBoost engine. It always surprises me how well these things tow. When I towed last time with my flat deck, I was very impressed. Once again, this time, wonderfully impressed. Number two, um, and this is where I think there might be a little bit of story here, um, was the fuel economy out of this EcoBoost. We finished with 40.4 liters per 100 kilometers or 5.8 miles per gallon. That is egregiously bad fuel economy. Um, now to put that fuel economy into perspective, behind me we have a Freightliner Cascadia with a 15 liter Detroit diesel engine with pistons that are greatly bigger than my hands. These things are massive. And this thing with 80,000 pounds behind it will get anywhere from like five to seven miles per gallon. So potentially better fuel economy with pistons this size than that 3.5 or EcoBoost towing 8,000 pounds. Thirdly is my scoring system. I wanna get a couple more trucks and engines kind of under my belt here with this trailer. So I know more or less where all these numbers are gonna kind of fall and then I can make um, you know, the scoring system kind of really reflect that really well. As always guys, if you did like the video, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. And if you think I've missed something, if you wanna add something to the conversation, feel free to let me know in the comments. Like I say many times, always love reading your comments and there's usually some good information down there. Anyways, enough of me. I'm gonna see the next freaking video.